Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I will be releasing a new version of the Neverwinter Character Builder Plus version 0.8. If you enjoy this video please leave a like and if you'd like to see more information and videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. If you've been paying attention a bit uh, on the on YouTube and on the forums of the game and on the blogs and the website uh, you know that on preview there is a pretty significant change to the game coming up and the devs call this change Ascension. Ascension basically mixes up your complete stat system, everything is revolving around item level, things like that. Now if you've been looking at my channel you also know that I have made a character builder over the last two-ish years, one and a half, two years, something like that. Um, that replicates your stats as they are in the game. Up until now, the character builder would work on the old system, of course, because that's what we had. Um, the new system, in my eyes, is even more challenging than the old system. So, a character builder here would be very, very welcome. Um, so, I've put some time and sweat and... Uh, no, not that many tears, I, I would say, uh, but I've put a lot of time in uh, updating the whole character builder, basically, well, most, most of the databases, um, but a lot to get this character builder up for you guys. And I have a lot of extra goodies in here, which I will show off later on, um, but let's go into the basics first. Before we go into um, the changes in here, I want to show you to show to you that this thing is still accurate, um, that you can rely on this. So I have I have a character here. It's called uh, Rainer Ranger One, and I made a save file for that. Rainer Ranger One. I think I forgot to summon my Abyssal Chicken here because it's summoned here. Yep. Um, so if we look at the statistics now, and not here, but player stats, um, you can see that item level is the same, uh, hit points is very accurate, you see the damage, I have some extra section here which we'll go into later, and then you see the ratings here which are all uh, mostly the same, some are off by one, but that's more of a mistake on the cryptic side, <laughs> they were not so good in uh, converting the numbers in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is all pretty accurate. If you look at the percentages, which you now also have, some are off a bit. Uh, for example, power is off by about 3%, which is Dragonborn Fury. Critical Strike also, Dragonborn Fury. Apparently, the race bonus does not show up on preview yet. And the other one that's off by a bit is uh, Critical Severity. And that's because the offhand cl class feature is not showing in the game either. Um, so those things still need to be fixed, I guess. Uh, I don't think they should be uh, left out here. Anyway, so now you can see that this is pretty much accurate. And that's that's important, otherwise you cannot rely on this build. Um, so let's go via the change tracker through this thing. Um, the first item on the list is actually not related to Ascension. This is actually one that I fixed I think uh, somewhere in November even, uh, the bag value analyzer calculation. I made this for the Forsaken logbox because I noticed it there. Um, so the bag value analyzer had an, an issue when calculating your bag value. So what it can do is if you fill in these values here, it will calculate for you based on the values that you enter here, the AD values of these items and the percentages, it calculates for you what the value of a bag is, how much value you get out of a bag. What I missed is this multiplier. Kind of stupid, but I never really noticed and nobody told me, so maybe people are not even using this that much. I noticed it here, um, for example, here the Tom Loon trade bars. If you fill in here a number, it counts for one Tom Loon trade bar. You get it 100% of the time. Uh, so if you enter 1000 here, it shouldn't say 1,000 here, but 61,000, because you get 61 
Tom Noon Trade, trade Boss worth 1,000 each. Uh, so it's 61,000 a guaranteed value for this block box. Uh, of course, this number is not accurate. But yeah, just to show you guys what I did wrong. Um, so that was off by quite a bit and that's why I noticed it. Uh, and I, of course, fixed it. Of course, the Forsaken Logbooks, as I showed you just now, is also now in. Um, I know that one person, I don't remember who exactly, but was as asking for that as well. Um, now, companions and augments now give most of their stats via combined rating. Um, so that's different from before. Before we had bondings, and bondings would just multiply the statistics from the companion. Uh, they, they have statistics here. I guess I actually forgot, but the companion has more statistics here. I should extend this, but I don't think most people care that much about this screen. Uh, but what I did, <laughs> I'm penetration. What I did in the previous system was take these values here, which were much higher before, and then multiply them by bondings and those uh, stats were then transferred. Uh, now you can see that uh, Companion has some base statistics. This is the combined rating. I didn't equip any gear, otherwise you would also see it added here. Um, but yeah, now the player gets combined rating from a companion. You can see it all the way at the bottom. Companion ratings, 2550 combined rating. So that goes into all of these 15 statistics, also power. Um, all of these get your combined rating. So that's 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 a big big change from before, uh, and that's of course processed in here. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, companion bolster also changed to the new system. Uh, before we had categories, five categories, which went up until 15%. Um, you also had uh, the categories here so if you select the campaign you can see the category of the campaign we don't have categories anymore we we only have up to 10 um, uh, campaigns that are counted for bolster the 10 highest ones and with this system you can say how many of each you have and it automatically takes the 10 highest from this and calculates your bolster based on these numbers uh, so it's, it's basically the same as the the mount system which i have here that was already in there. Uh, do, 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 do. So then, uh, change the campaign equip powers to the next uh, to the new system, the next system. Oh, I hope there's not another one coming. Um, but yeah, uh, before companions gave all kinds of flat ratings because we didn't have these percentages. Now companions mostly give um, percentages, as you can see here. This one gives 3.8% defect change and 3.8% incoming healing bonus. These uh, bonuses are affected by bolster. Uh, I didn't fix that yet. Okay, so this does not update automatically. But it is. Are you kidding me? Okay, I will fix that. I did not check that. Wow, that's so bad. Okay, so. Uh, these should actually be affected by bolster so if you have a lower bolster these values will automatically change just like also the mount system uh, oh no actually ah, I made a mistake again these are not affected by bolster like the mount system that was explicitly mentioned so these are fixed that's why it's not changing when you change this here but now if you add these percentages these are not multiplied not of adding to the ratings but they're actually adding to the other bonuses here. So if I, for example, take here uh, Alphonse Knox, 3.8 critical severity and 3.8 combat advantage, I select the mythic, then my combat advantage is increased by 3.8%, as you can see here, Alphonse Knox's discipline, and critical severity is also increased by 3.8%. So then it's actually shown here as well on your character sheet that those things are increased. Um, and you can do it, of course, for all of these powers. You have now always one offensive power, one defense power. You have one utility power and two uh, universal powers. So these teal colors, that's the new color, those are universal. So here you can put in any utility, defense or offense power. Everything is accepted here. Uh, so yeah, here you can also see added universal companion power. So that's... Um, well, not powers, but power slots. So those are those two. Um, 
when now when you change your class, it did that before because these were flexible and all classes had different slots. Now when you change your class, it does not reset these powers anymore. It's a small change, but I thought I just mention it. It's nice um, because a lot of people will use mostly the same powers here. So that's also in there. And then I updated all of the items. Uh, so gear was changed, uh, artifacts, enchantments, runestones, insignias, colors. Um, probably a lot more mounts. Uh, mount powers did not change, just the formula changed. Let me think. Artifacts is in there. The boons changed, of course. I also updated all of the boons. Uh, yeah, a lot. So I updated all of the databases uh, and it should be accurate now. Then I added extra item level for primary artifact based on quality. So I, this is a really interesting thing, but I wanted to have the total item level correct. So this primary artifact actually in game gets additional item level. Normally this envenomed storyteller journal in game is 150 item level, but if you put it on the active artifact slot, it's 300 item level what it's actually giving you. It still shows 150 in game, but uh, if you add a mythic artifact here, you get 150 item level extra. If it's a legendary artifact, you get 120. If it's epic, you get 90, etc., etc. So this is also based on quality. My character build at the moment only uh, has mythic artifacts, so it's always 150 extra if you have something slotted here. So that makes it a little bit easier for me. But yeah, I just added this to make this item level accurate. Uh, yeah, update stats to new ascension system. I will go into this more in a second at the end. Um, fix the combat mount power when loading. So here the mount power when loading always swap to the common quality, I think it was, uh, which is not nice. So I fixed this. Also, when loading your item level would not be correct because an uncommon combat power has a much lower item level so that's where I notice it uh, really so I also fix that um, and in the combat simulator I by default set to not in the park that was more of a inconvenience for me we have now a VIP on preview which is long waiting uh, and every time I wanted to check my stats it would uh, have this stuff uh, in in a party so I get extra HP from that which is uh, a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, before we go into the, the stats here and the screen, which I want to cover a bit, uh, I want to go into things that are not working properly yet. Um, we have the content analyzers. Uh, before we had some uh, Tower of Mad Mage and Zario content uh, analyzers, which show you which attacks would kill you with your build and which wouldn't and how easy you would survive things like that. Um, yeah, I, I need to to really, really look into that again because uh, yeah, the stat system makes this completely different. So um, we have to look into how much damage each of the attacks does in the new system. And based on that, I can do some, uh, I, ca I can update this. Stat analyzer, kind of the same because the system is completely changed. This doesn't make much sense anymore. Uh, I do have something that replaces it a little bit, uh, more from the end result point of view, not from the I want to change something view, but from the end result, you can look into here. But as I said, I get into that in a second. Uh, and we also have the equip and set bonuses uh, that need to be rechecked. So yeah, these things are still changing in the game a lot. So here, for example, scavengers gives 1% power. I think it should go into this percentage, but as far as I know, it goes into the ratings right now, which is of course not correct. Uh, so I want to wait until this is a little bit further progressed in the previous stages, because everything is still subject to change uh, before I update all of these uh, equip bars, because every one of them, and there's 400, they need to be implemented separately. Um, so yeah, that, that's all of the things in here. I probably forgot some stuff, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's, let's go into the new Ascension system. So what we have in the game, and I try to 
mimic that a little bit. Um, what we have now is that all of these stats, all of these, except combined rating, all of these here are now capped to your total item level. And uh, as the game also does, whenever something is over cap, uh, it, will turn, it will change color to red here. And at the bottom, you can see that you have 1049 wasted stats. And also you can see all of the individual places where you can get this power stat, where you get this power stat from. Um, one of these things that you can see here, the top one, is combined rating. Uh, with the changes to the ascension system, basically everything now gives combined rating. It's quite kind of ridiculous. Uh, so if I would have had all of these items in here that contribute to power via combined rating separately in this list, this list would just be, be too big. And I wanted to make it very clear when you hover over these stats, how you could reduce the, the stats, how you could reduce uh, the stats. So Forte, uh, yeah, combined rating is just what you get from other items and you don't choose for Forte. But if you look at the other things on here, you can actually change them and uh, yeah, that way you can affect it. So if you go to F2 too much here, you cannot reduce your combined rating easily unless you equip lower item level stuff. But all of the other things in this list, you can actually adapt. So I opted to split it up so that this is still, you can still have an overview here and combined rating is now here uh, listed down here. So here you see all the items that give combined rating right now in this build. Uh, yeah. So as I said, these, if you go over cap, uh, you can see at the bottom here that you have wasted stats. Then to the totals, um, totals cap, um, the, the ratings here, if you are at the item level or higher, you get 50% rating contribution. And then uh, you also have a cap of 90% for rating plus other contributions. The other contributions can be raise, bonuses, boons, uh, they can be um, uh, companion equip powers, attributes, uh, and some more stuff that I forgot, probably colors as well. Uh, so yeah, some, some stuff, I think critical severity, I have a color here. I don't have a color equipped, I think. But yeah, offhand class features, uh, race and uh, class bonuses, things like that. They all go in here. Um, this also, if you go up to 90%, let me check. I probably also have a build here. Let's, let's take an old build. Uh, if you go up to 90%, it will also turn green here. Also, um, you can see here exactly what your other contributions are built out of. Uh, rating contribution is below 50%, so your other contributions can be higher because the total is 90%. And you can also see here at the bottom, just like with these stats, how much stats are wasted. Uh, in this case, 0.2% of my critical severity is wasted. Um, what I added for all these wasted stats is also here in this build scores section, Total wasted stats. So this here is um, accuracy. I have 115 too much. Combat advantage 622 and defense 1933. So you can very easily see how much stats are wasted and that you probably could move around. Actually, what the hell? This does not add up to 5340. What the? Okay, I need to look into that one. What the crap? I just noticed this is 2600 something. Is this doubled? Looks like it's doubled. Is this uh, 17? Yeah, this is 2670. Why is this doubled? Interesting. Okay, before releasing, I will make sure that this is not doubled anymore. That's weird. That's so weird. Um, okay. And it's only added in here once. Huh. Interesting. So, um, and also here for your percentage ratings, how much is wasted there? So in total, I wasted 0.2 here for critical severity. That's shown here as well. 
So now for these other stats here, what I did, uh, because right now um, all of the NPCs have basically the same statistics now, um, and all of your contributions in combat are dependent on your own stats, I was able to calculate your efficiency, your score in combat. So what I did here for damage, um, I took for the minimum damage that you do, which is still multiplied by magnitudes and uh, affected by buffs and debuffs and stuff, which are not in this uh, sheet. But this is a, a weapon damage, non-crit, and it's deflected. So it is deflected, your accuracy will reduce the deflect severity of the enemy, so you do still do more damage if this is higher in the min category. But yeah, this would be a non-crit deflected hit before magnitude and buffs and debuffs. Average is an average damage hit. I took into account, in this case, 50% combat advantage. Could have also chosen something else, but for now I've took 50%. So this is uh, taking along critical chance, critical uh, severity, um, combat advantage, as it says, uh, accuracy also that takes along deflect chance things like that all of that is in there and this is uh if you uh, the, the the crit value so this is uh when you crit you have common advantage and it's not deflected this is your maximum base uh damage modifier for healing it the same of course this is uh not affected by accuracy and combat advantage so here i just took a non-critical heal it can also not be affected by defense, which is in here, of course. So these are always reduced by half because of defense of the enemy. Healing is not affected by defense. So that's why these values are also much higher or deflected, also not possible. Um, so this is an average heal. So this is with your crit chance uh, and critical severity taken into account. It's also taking account outgoing healing. And this is, if you have a critical heal, this is your base value. Uh, yeah, and then I also have a line more for tankiness, your effective HP. So you have 633,000 HP in this case. And here you see if you don't deflect, your defense will still increase your tankiness by 54.8%. So um, this is how big of a hit you will be able to take before defense mitigation. Um, and deflect. Uh, no, deflect is not in here. Uh, in this one, it is a deflected uh, hit, which is also affected by defense. For tanks, these numbers can go up very high. Um, but yeah, for uh, this is a DPS build, so it's not that high. And this is uh, with your deflect chance and uh, deflect severity taking into account uh, how high it will get. So this will give a lot of insights in how good a build is and i actually want to do something interesting with this piece here because i want to do a sort of competition um i don't know if i will start it now i think i'll start it at a later moment but i want to make a competition where uh, for each role for a tank i want to have the highest effective uh, hp for a healer the highest um, healing average and for DPS, the highest damage. I will make a competition at some point where, where we get a, a like a high score of people who make builds for this in the, in the character builder. They send the builds to me and then I will put them in the top list with name. So uh, yeah, that will be interesting. But I'm not going to do that right now. There will also be prizes, of course, in the end. But I'm not going to do that competition right now because I want people to first get to know the system a little bit, get to know the new character builder, play around with it a bit, um, because it is a lot more difficult than it was before, a lot. So yeah, that's coming up. Um, I, will, I will fix this before I release it. That, I, that this, this bugs me a little bit, that is doubled. <laughs> okay, I think that is it for this video. As always, you can download this uh, character builder for free on my patreon uh, the link is in the end screen and also in the description where you can download the character builder uh, so make sure to go there use this tool to your own benefit there's all kinds of overviews in here 
Um, so you will, yeah, this, this will make stuff so much easier. Anyway, that was it. If you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.